armor coatings, they seem to be the way to customize your Spartan in Halo Infinite. This looks pretty cool, but also brings up some major concerns. So in this video, we're gonna go right into that. So stay tuned to the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. Helps out the YouTube algorithm so more people get a chance to see the video to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. Well, recently on the community update from Unishai, I guess we get it every so often, he posted up a picture of the Monarch armor skin coating is what they call it really for Halo Infinite. Now it does look awesome. It's a clean purple and gold kind of royal kind of look to the Spartan. The reason why this kind of was released is because we already saw it pretty much from a promotional image of Chips Ahoy. We bought the bag of chips, cookies, whatever, you, wherever you're from, where you want to call it, and you type in, like, you get a code, you type it online, and then you unlock these two different types of armor coatings. Now, at first glance, you're like, okay, yeah, it's purple and gold. Like, what do you freaking do? You know, we've done that before in Halo, but this type of coloring you see are very intricate designs once you actually take a stop and look at it. Uh, we can see like around the collar right here, it's uh, like a gold color. The like events on the back of the suit pack thing, whatever you want to call it, uh, is gold. These little lines right here within the armor that kind of look like they're attaching it together or something, gold. This part right here is gold. Uh, the underneath the armor right here is gold as well. And so it's very tiny little intricacies are all, you're able to have be customized as well, which is really awesome and great to see. Makes me think about like, oh, all this color customization options just for Halo Infinite, that looks great. But I'm expecting something to be less um, optional for the player. The main reason why is because it's been a general consensus ever since Battlefront 2's debacle, industry has completely changed when it comes to microtransactions. They recognize that yes, not monetize the gameplay you can't do that like that's a big no-no that's what battlefront tried to do that's why they failed but the general consensus has been the monetization out of the gameplay but monetize the customization the thing is that halo has always had a very strong customization option for the franchise and for their fan base as a whole so there's gonna be a very thin line to dance on when it comes to stuff you can earn in game and give players options while also making things enticing for people to jump in for those microtransactions as well since we do know the multiplayer is gonna be free to play there's going to be like some serious microtransactions within the game and going with this level of intricacy when it comes to the customization makes me worry that you would only have set of different kinds of colorizations for your Spartan. I'll show you this next image here to kind of give you what I'm talking about. This is a blurry image of the other Spartan armor that you are able to unlock using the Chips Ahoy codes. You get two different kinds of armor skins, which are, or coatings I should say. So very important to recognize that. Look at the intricacies of the coloring on this Spartan. You can change a lot. This is, this is what's gonna be in the game. This isn't some fan creation or something. This is gonna be in the game. You're gonna see this level of customization for your Spartan colorings all throughout different kinds of colors. And you can see they get under, you can change the undersuit. Like there's, there's, there's um, like a gold, there's a red, there's a little bit of a green as well on top of that. Uh, yeah, you see some blue, uh, kind of just really kind of utilizing like Chips Ahoy colors really. Uh, I'm not really a fan of this kind of coloring, but you can see just like, if you're gonna give a player this little much customization, it would honestly take you like 30, 40 minutes or something like that to pick out just the right colors at the right locations and things like that to make it look nice. You know, you could literally spend like an hour, maybe even two, just making your one Spartan, which is something that sounds really awesome for a level of customization, giving players more options, which people like, but that may, just makes me think that this is gonna be like preset armor customization colors that you get for your Spartan. You can see the promotional codes right here, and you can see that, yes, the Monarch armor is right listed right underneath right here. And then you have, it looks like the granular armor coloring is what it looks like. It looks like a G, again, it's very blurry, I understand, but this is what, you know, it's gonna be in the game. And word from our sponsor, well, it's me, actually, because we actually put together a little bit of a merch store for you guys. If you want to check it out, it should be linked in below, below this video and also on the store channel page as well. There I got some shirts, some mugs, and just some kind of cool stuff you guys want to check out if you want to. Link in the description down below and also on the channel for the store page or just right below this video. So what it kind of looks like to me, unless we have these options as a player within the game, you might just have what are kind of just presets of different kind of coloring options you can have for your Spartan, which does concern me because it really just almost throws out player option for customization 
out the window. We've been able to choose our Spartan color for by the time Halo Infinite releases 20 years. And so I still think we'd probably have the option to choose your own colors, but maybe not to the detail or the organization kind of style that you see with these armor coatings. If you wanted to have something that looks really stand out and special, you might have to find it in some microtransactions or in a season pass. Now, a big concern this brings up, it makes me think of another game, it makes me think of Destiny 2, where they have selected shaders you can have for your character, but you don't actually get a chance to customize it. Take a look right here. Okay, you see I jumped into Destiny 2. Let's check out our inventory here. Select our shaders. They're only able to hold 50 shaders. And there are a ton of shaders. You get duplicates a lot of times with these shaders to the point where you have so many different kinds of shades that you can't hold them all in your inventory. And like having to select them this way, it just seems so messy and unorganized and really hard to find the one that you like in particular. Like you can see right here, it's even bled over into the Postmaster, which is basically like, become extended, you know, uh, inventory really when it comes to this kind of stuff. Like, I, I, why do I need 10 Vanguard Magnus shaders? Like, I don't need this. So how could Halo Infinite go about doing this properly? Well, obviously you need to have options for customizations for our Spartans. You need to be able to choose your colors, or at least a primary, secondary, preferably a tertiary and also changing your light colors. Uh, just giving players like some basic options when it comes to customizing your character. Now, if you want something extra special and snazzy and looking pretty sweet, you might have to kind of either grind it out in a season pass, which has been rumored to happen with the Halo Infinite's multiplayer, or buy a male microtransactor action package like we've seen previously, like with Modern Warfare and like uh, Ironfall 2 and stuff like that, which have done microtransactions rather fairly, but also, I mean, um, there's going to be some part of this customization that's going to be monetized, which has always been one of my biggest concerns because like we mentioned earlier, it's been the general rule now that you don't monetize the gameplay, you monetize the customization. But Halo's always had a strong history of excellent customization that makes me worry about what we're going to see, how fine of a line is 343 going to have to dance to make this something that will, people that won't feel pressured into buying some macro transactions. But you know what, at least we have some concrete Halo Infinite information to talk about on the channel, guys, because it's been rather quiet ever since the announcement of the delay. Uh, I think mainly just because 343 has been trying to figure out exactly what they can show, what's the time frame going to look like, what's the roadmap of the release date, eventual release date of Halo Infinite, what are the different kinds of roadmaps, and so there's a lot of different variables right now that 343 is working on right now. That's why they've been so quiet recently. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Check out the videos on the screen right over here if you missed any content from me recently. Got a link to all my news and informational videos. If you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.